morning namaste vanakkam namaskaram i have to say this in so many languages so many indian languages today simply because we are playing an ambitious quiz we at efi as you all know are focusing on mass awareness our key primary is to somehow motivate the general public to volunteer with us and in this effort to ensure that every single indian finds time and space to volunteer for india and her environment with efi is the key goal with which we keep doing this quiz just to add that flavor of interest to make this a tad bit more interesting we've been trying every single we've been trying every single ways and means to ensure that this quiz is not boring and the whole idea behind this quiz is to not to is not to ask questions but to find answers together today's quiz is extremely ambitious from our effort we're going to ask 10 questions we're going to ask 10 questions and these 10 questions each question is going to be in one indian language and uh, i don't know if this is a silly stupid attempt but we just want to try it why not today's effort is india environment quiz 10 questions each question in one indian language and how are we going to play this we're going to play this as simple as as, as always i'm going to ask the question you're going to type in the answers in the chat box below we're doing this quiz on youtube and here on instagram i'm going to ask the question and you're going to type the answer in the chat box below right when you do that you have a task too if you're on your mobile phone it's going to be a little difficult but still try but still try right i'm going to ask questions in bengali in gujarati in malayalam kannada telugu tamil hindi maithili and marathi yes vanakkam we're going to ask questions in uh, uh, hindi maithili tamil telugu kannada marathi malayalam and we're going to ask also of course one question in english because uh, just to make sure that at least one question goes out there right so we're going to ask this in 10 bengali uh, gujarati all covered right when i ask the question in that vernacular try answering in vernacular i know it's very difficult but at least type the english uh, english letters for example which uh, if i'm asking a question state bird of tamil nadu and if you know the tamil name of the bird type it in english let's see what we can do sangeeta mohan ji vanakkam whatever yeah so let's start playing let's start playing we are playing efi's india environment quiz and today's quiz is an ambitious effort where we're trying to ask you 10 questions each question in one indian language and we start with the literature seat of india we start from the literature seat of india we're taking you all the way to the eastern corner and we're starting this from bengal we're starting this from bengal listen to this very carefully yes it's simple simple questions if you just listen you'll be able to answer it's a simple question we're going to if you listen you'll be able to answer yes the first question we are asking you this evening banglara rashtriya pakhi kaun thi banglara rashtriya pakhi kaun thi i'll repeat that slow listen and you will be able to find the answer it's not very difficult banglara rashtriya pakhi kaun thi banglara rashtriya pakhi kaun thi i will definitely ask this question in english a little later don't worry but try try banglara rashtriya pakhi kaun thi banglara is of course bengal rashtriya is region pakhi what is pakhi and kaun thi pakhi kaun thi is all that you have to translate in your head banglara rashtriya pakhi kaun thi national bird of in banglara bangla yeah heman says white breasted kingfisher we have an answer already look it's not that difficult banglara rashtriya kaunti rashtriya pakhi kaunti banglara rashtriya pakhi kaunti white breasted kingfisher the question in english bengal's state bird name west bengal's state bird and heman try giving me the bengali name 
Madhumati ma'am, try giving me the Bengali name. What is a kingfisher called in Bengali? What is a, a white-breasted kingfisher called in Bengali? Banglara Rashtriya Paki Konti. Banglara Rashtriya Paki Konti. Name West Bengals or name Bengals. Why even West Bengal? Name Bengals. This is going to be very hard. Just think. Think about me. I'm making a fool of myself. Uh, this video is also going to be out there and I'm trying to pronounce words in languages that I don't even know. Banglara Rashtriya Paki Kanti. Yes. And the question in English is Bengal's state bird. Bengal state bird. And the answer, of course, Shada Machranga. Shada Machranga, which is the white-breasted kingfisher. Some January 2024, I can read. I don't know in which language you're typing that. I think it's Bengali with the script I'm able to read. Banglara Rashtriya Paki Kanti. White-breasted kingfisher Shada Machranga. Now, Vinesh Surubi, you're going to give me, on 10, you're going to give me marks for my Gujarati now, okay? Vinesh Surubi, you're going to give me marks out of 10 for my Gujarati. I'm going to try this. We're moving from Bengal to the westernmost state, Gujarat. And the question here is, Gujaratanam Sonthi Uncham Shikar Kayum Che. Gujaratanam Sonthi Uncham Shikar Kayum Che. Gujaratanam Santi Uncham Shikar Kayum Che. Oh, every Gujarati is going to hate me for doing this. Gujaratanam Santi Uncham Shikar Kayum Che. We're asking you EFI's India Environment Quiz. And as you all know, the effort here is to ensure somehow we learn more about India and her environment. We're asking you 10 questions, each question in one Indian language, each question in one Indian language. Vinay Surbi, was that grammatically correct? Did I even, I know it was not perfect, but at least was it okay? You have to tell us. Gujaratanam Santi Unchum Shikar Kayum Che. Gujaratanam Santi Unchum Shikar Kayum Che. Simple. Gujaratanam. Santi Unchum Shikar Kayum Che. It's Gujarat no Santi Uchu Shikar Kayum Che. There we are asking you about Gujarat's highest peak. The tallest peak, Rithik creation says, I'm from West Bengal. The first question was about Bengal, the state bird of Bengal. And now we've gone all the way to Gujarat. Gujarat Nam Santi Unchum Shikar Kayum Che. And we are asking you Gujarat's highest tallest peak. Name Gujarat's highest, tallest peak. And many of you are giving me the answers. We are asking you to name Gujarat's highest, tallest peak. And the answer, of course, the answer, of course, is Girnar. Girnar is also known. Girnar, home of lions. Yes, Junagadh. From the erstwhile princely state of Junagadh, it's Girnar, which is Gujarat's highest, tallest peak. We're playing EFI's India Environment Quiz here on YouTube and on Instagram. And here is an attempt to somehow add flavors to this quiz, a daily quiz. We've played the state quiz. We played a different animal quiz. Today, we are going one question in one Indian language. We're going one question in one Indian language. We finished Bengal. Banglara Rashtriya Paki Kanti. We asked you Bengal's state bird. It is the white-breasted kingfisher. Gujaratanam Sati Unchum Shikar Kayum Che was the next question we asked you. Gujarat's tallest peak. And the answer is Girnar at 1031 meters high. At 1031 meters high. We go to we go to Maharashtra next. We're going to Maharashtra next. And the question we are asking you, we are asking you the third question, EFI's India Environment Quiz from Maharashtra today. In Marathi, this is going to be a strong, strong attempt. Akbar Bolie Miss Hoge. Okay, we will, we will, we will come back to that. We're going to Maharashtra now. Maharashtra cha Rajya Prani Kanta Ahe. Maharashtra cha Rajya Prani Kanta Ahe. Oh, everybody in Maharashtra is going to throw something at me now, but we're still trying. We love all these languages. We just want to learn all these languages. Here is a humble effort. Maharashtra cha Rajya Prani Kanta Ahe. Maharashtra cha Rajya Prani Kanta Ahe. 
we are done with bengal we are done with gujarat this is like crossing one fire after the other because we are trying to pronounce with that dialect in that local language it is definitely not that local dialect but we are still trying the chennai version of every indian language maharashtra cha rajya prani konta ahe peacock says kailash kailash is a renowned artist state animal of maharashtra is the question she is asking it is we are asking you state animal of maharashtra island galpri not from india but how you are still going for it brilliant arvind mumbai kar says giant squirrel and we are asking you maharashtra cha rajya prani konta ahe we finished bengal we finished gujarat we finished maharashtra kailash try answering maharashtra maharashtra state animal maharashtra state animal so confused it is so confusing yes imagine here madhumati ma'am says shikaru in marathi indian giant squirrel giant squirrel it is the shikaru it is the shikaru the giant indian shikru shikru says shikaru or shikru we have to get the correct pronunciation it is the indian giant squirrel we are playing efis india environment quiz we started from bengal bangla or rashtriya paki konti and that's bengali for you from chennai version of bengali that i'm trying bengal's state bird it is the white breasted kingfisher and we went to gujarat where the question was gujarat nam sati unchum shikar kayum che the tallest peak of gujarat and that is girnar peak at 1100 meters and we went to maharashtra in marathi we asked you maharashtra cha rajya prani konta ahe shikaru says uh, kailash it is the giant indian giant squirrel name the state animal of maharashtra it is the indian giant squirrel now we coming to it is difficult it is difficult i'm so sorry but what is the joy in keeping this simple and straightforward yeah we're going to kerala god's own country we're going to kerala and here is the question ഇന്നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് മേക്ക് ദി സ്ലോ ഫോർ യു ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ഡോണ്ട് ഇവൻ ട്രൈ ഗോ 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 ജസ്റ്റ് ലുക്ക് എറ്റ് ദ വേർഡ്സ് ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമം നാം നാമം ആണ് ചൂർണി യെസ് ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ദർ വൺ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു സ്പീക്സ് മലയാളം ഓർ തമിഴ് സ്പീക്കേഴ്സ് ഹു ക്യാൻ റിലേറ്റ് ടു വാട്ട് ഐ മാസ്കിങ് ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് കടക്കൽ ചൂർണി ഇസ് അനദർ റിവർ ഇൻ ദ നോർത്ത് വി ആർ ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് കേരള വി ആർ ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് കേരള ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റിവർ റിലേറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഓൾഡ് നെയിം ഓഫ് ദിസ് റിവർ ഇസ് ചൂർണി വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ മോഡേൺ നെയിം പെരിയ റിവർ സേസ് അശ്വിൻ ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് അശ്വിൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ദ പെരിയാർ ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് എക്സൈറ്റഡ് അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ബിഗ് റിവർ പെരിയാറ് ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് ഈ നദിയുടെ പുരാതന നാമമാണ് ചൂർണി ആധുനിക നാമം എന്താണ് ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷൻ ദിസ് റിവേഴ്സ് ഓൾഡ് ഏൻഷ്യൻറ്റ് നെയിം ഈസ് ചൂർണി വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ മോഡേൺ നെയിം ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ മലയാളം സോ ദ റിവർ ഈസ് ഇൻ കേരള ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ പെരിയാർ റിവർ കേരളാസ് ലോങ്ങസ്റ്റ് റിവർ ഭാരതപ്പുഴ ഈസ് കേരള സെക്കൻഡ് ലോങ്ങസ്റ്റ് റിവർ ടു ഫോർട്ടി ഫോർ കിലോമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ദേ ഷീ ഹാസ് ഇൻ ബാങ് ഓൺ ദ ടീച്ചർ ഫ്രം ഈ റോഡ് വി ആർ പ്ലേയിങ് ഇ എഫ് ഐസ് ഇന്ത്യ എൻവയറോൺമെൻറ്റ് ക്വിസ് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ബോൾഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ സിലി ഓഫ് അസ് to even attempt this 10 questions each question in one indian language and we're going live and we're going to save this video for us to be embarrassed in the future we've finished bengal we've finished gujarat we've finished maharashtra we've finished kerala and in bengal we asked you 
Banglar Rashtrapati Kanti name the state bird of Bengal it is the white breasted kingfisher Gujarat and Amsati Uncham Shikar Kayum Che the tallest peak of Gujarat it's the Girnar peak at almost 1100 meters Maharashtra cha rajya prani kanta ahe the state animal of Maharashtra the Indian giant squirrel in nadi yude puradana namamana churni adunika namam endana the, the modern name of the river whose ancient name is churni and it of course is periyar from god's own country we go to bihar we go to bihar yes uh, previous question the answer it is periyar river if you are talking about the river in kerala it is periyar river yes we are going to bihar as you all know bihar has multiple languages bhojpuri but we are going to try this question in maithili yes we are going to try this question in maithili बिहार के राज्य पक्षी का नाम बताइए इट साउंड्स लाइक हिंदी बट दिस इज इट्स इट्स आई एम श्योर द प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज समथिंग एल्स बट वी आर गोइंग टू बिहार बिहार के राज्य पक्षी का नाम बताइए बिहार का राष्ट्रीय पक्षी का नाम बताइए बिहार का राष्ट्रीय पक्षी का नाम बताइए दिस इज नॉट अ हिंदी क्वेश्चन इट इज अ बिहार क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज मैथिली दैट वी आर ट्राइंग दिस क्वेश्चन इन बिहार का राष्ट्रीय पक्षी का नाम बताइए बिहार का राष्ट्रीय पक्षी बिहार का राष्ट्रीय पक्षी राष्ट्रीय वुड बी स्टेट पक्षी वुड बी बर्ड बिहार का राष्ट्रीय पक्षी हाउ सिंपल एंड ब्यूटीफुल दी हाउस पैरो इट इज द करेक्ट आंसर वे प्लेइंग ईएफआई इंडिया एनवायरनमेंट क्विज एंड वी आर इन आवर फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन हाफ वे थ्रू we finished bengali we finished gujarati we finished marathi we finished malayalam we finished maithili bihar ke rajya pakshi ka naam bataiye bihar ke rajya pakshi ka naam bataiye and it is house sparrow bihar ke rajya pakshi ka naam house sparrow from the periya river which once used to be called churni to the state bird of bengal which is the white breasted kingfisher to the state bird of bihar which is the house sparrow to maharashtra state animal which is the indian giant squirrel yes and gujarat's tallest peak which is girnar we moving to the toughest question of today's quiz we moving to the toughest question goreya goreya says alok tiwari we moving to the toughest question and the question is going to be in the associate official language of india so let me have a sub question which is india's associate official language which is india's associate official language which is india's associate official language give me india's associate official language india's associate official language that's not today's environment question it's just a let's say a uh, let's say a bumper question india's officiate in, uh, language india's associate official language i just mixed official and associate and i said officiate india's associate official language my answer is also correct yes no no denying it english is our associate official language and my question is going to be in english the sixth question the only ape the only ape to be found in india give me the name of the only ape to be found in india we are playing efis india environment quiz and we are making a strong attempt we are making a strong attempt to ask 10 questions each question in one indian language in india english is not indian language but it india's associate official language thank god yes thank god for it india's associate official language is in english and the question i have asked you the only ape to be found in india 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 who log gibbon who log gibbon who log gibbon the answer is just flying out there because it's an english question who log gibbon tailless hula gibbon yes the hula gibbon we finished bengali we finished gujarati actually we finished bengali we finished gujarati we finished marathi we finished malayalam and we now massacring english 
chimpanzee no madhumati ma'am we don't have chimpanzees it's not the orangutan it's not the chimpanzee it's not the gorilla it's a gibbon and it is the tailless pullock gibbon it, this feels like luxury i can finally breathe what luxury this feels like survival i can finally breathe we were playing this question after finishing all those languages we were so comfortably positioned in english now we moving to the next question take a deep breath we are going to karnataka take a deep breath we are going to karnataka and look six questions done 7 8 9 and 10 are going to be big questions it's the difficulty level is increasing and our kannada is not even my language so let's massacre kannada now i don't know what i'm going to do to this good language let me try this bandipuravu karnataka ta ati dodda rashtriya udya udyanavana giddu hechu sankheya huligalanu hondide just just quit go go sleep bandipuravu karnataka ta ati dodda rashtriya udyanavana ವಾಗಿದ್ದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಬಂದಿಪುರವು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಉದ್ಯಾನವನ ವಾಗಿದ್ದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಟಫ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಯು ಗೋನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಗೋ ಸ್ಲೋ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಬಂದಿಪುರವು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಉದ್ಯಾನವನವಾಗಿದ್ದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಬಂದಿಪುರವು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಉದ್ಯಾನವನವಾಗಿದ್ದು ದಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದ್ದು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಈ ಐ ಯು ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಂಜಯ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಫೌಂಡ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಹೇಮಂತ್ ಬಂದಿಪುರವು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಉದ್ಯಾನವನವಾಗಿದ್ದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಬಂದಿಪುರವು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಉದ್ಯಾನ ಉದ್ಯಾನವನವಾಗಿದ್ದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಬಂದಿಪುರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಗರ್ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಗರ್ಸ್ ಬಂದಿಪುರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ tiger reserve which is the one with the most number of tigers voice translation and if my voice translation is giving you the answer oh my god i'm so proud bandipuravu karnataka ta ati dodda rashtriya udyanavana vagiddu hechu sankheya huligalanu hondide bandipuravu karnataka ta ati dodda rashtriya udyanavana vagiddu there comes the answer from ashwin ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಬಂದಿಪುರವು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಉದ್ಯಾನವನವಾಗಿದ್ದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯ ಹುಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಬಂದಿಪುರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಟೈಗರ್ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಗರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಗರ್ ಹೋಲೆ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಗರ್ ಹೋಲೆ ವಿ ನಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಹಾವ್ ಫಿನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಟು and there i can't make this question 1974 tamil tamil is coming tamil is coming madhumati ma'am says it was established as national park in 1974 and the answer is nagar hole with 100 and almost 150 tigers nagar hole is the correct answer now is the time for tamil <coughs> now is the time for tamil yeah try this <coughs> this is from tamil nadu and the question we are asking you ila vayadil ila vayadil ವಡಳಿ ಎಂದ್ರ ಅಳಕೆಪಡುವ ಈ ಮರತೈ ವಳರ್ಂದ ಪಿನ್ ನಾಮ ಎನ್ನವೆಂದ್ರ ಅಳೈಪೋಂ ಇಳವಯದಿಲ್ ವಡಳಿ ಎಂದ್ರ ಅಳಕೆಪಡುವ ಈ ಮರತೈ ವಳರ್ಂದ ಪಿನ್ ನಾಮ ಎನ್ನವೆಂದ್ರ ಅಳೈಪೋಂ ಇಳವಯದಿಲ್ ವಡಳಿ ಎಂದ್ರ ಅಳಕೆಪಡುವ ಈ ಮರತೈ ವಳರ್ಂದ ಪಿನ್ ನಾಮ ಎನ್ನವೆಂದ್ರ ಅಳೈಪೋಂ ಇಳವಯದಿಲ್ ವಡಳಿ ಎಂದ್ರ ಅಳಕೆಪಡುವ ಈ ಮರತೈ ನಾಮ ವಳರ್ಂದ ಪಿನ್ ಎನ್ನವೆಂದ್ರ ಅಳೈಪೋಂ ಐ ವೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇಳವಯದಿಲ್ ವಡಳಿ ವಡಲಿ ಎಂದ್ರ ಅಳೈಕೆಪಡುವ ಈ ಮರತೈ ವಳರ್ಂದ ಪಿನ್ ನಾಮ ಎನ್ನವೆಂದ್ರ ಅಳೈಪೋಂ ಹೇಮಂತ್ 
you had saf a human how you are even trying patiently playing and still giving the answer the uh, question in english in its younger state this tree is called vadali in tamil when the tree is fully grown what do we call it in its juvenile younger days this tree is called vadali when it's fully grown what do we call it maharaj says panai ilavayadil vadali endra alaikapadum im marathai valarnda pin nam enna vendra alaipom sabar kanta ma'am tamil la badhil solunga ma'am romba kashtapattu romba neram kalichu tamil la oru kelvi ketrukom we started from bengal we went to gujarati then marathi then we came to i think malayalam then we went to maithili then english then kannada now we are in tamil ilavayadil vadali endra alaikapadum im marathai valarnda pin nam enna vendra alaikindrom and the answer is palm tree the answer is palm tree name the juvenile or the younger name of this tree is vadali the palm tree in tamil in its younger days is called vadali when it's fully grown it's called panai yes vadali and panai yes vadali is the name given to a young palm when it's fully grown we call it panai maram vadali and panai maram we go to the state of andhra pradesh yes or we go to the telugu states but the question is from andhra pradesh so we covering the two states of telangana and andhra pradesh and the question is this it's a big question listen carefully but if you listen i'm sure you're going to be able to crack it padi helava shatabdaniki chendina idru sodaralu nalla malla adavillo yerpaatu chesina adbhuta nirmanani per konandi idi ప్రకాశం జిల్లా చంద్రశేఖరపురంలో ఉంది పదిహేళవ పదిహేళవ శతాబ్దానికి చెందిన ఇద్దరు ఇద్దరు సోదరులు నల్లమల్ల అదవిలో ఏర్పాటు చేసిన అద్భుత నిర్మాణాన్ని పేర్కొనండి ఇది ప్రకాశం జిల్లా చంద్రశేఖరపురంలో ఉంది ప్లీజ్ స్లో ఎస్ ఐ గో వెరీ స్లో పదిహేళవ శతాబ్దానికి చెందిన ఇద్దరు సోదరులు నల్లమల్ల అడవిలో ఏర్పాటు చేసిన అద్భుత నిర్మాణాన్ని పేర్కొనండి ఇది ప్రకాశం జిల్లా చంద్రశేఖరపురంలో ఉంది పదిహేడవ శతాబ్దానికి చెందిన ఇద్దరు సోదరులు నల్లమల్ల అడవిలో ఏర్పాటు చేసిన అద్భుత నిర్మాణానికి పేర్కొనండి ఇది ప్రకాశం జిల్లా చంద్రశేఖరపురంలో ఉంది వన్స్ ఐ క్విక్లీ గివ్ యూ ద ఇంగ్లీష్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ నేమ్ ద సెవెంటీన్త్ సెంచురీ ఆర్కిటెక్చురల్ మార్వల్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ బై టూ బ్రదర్స్ ఇన్ ద నల్లమల్ల ఫారెస్ట్ దిస్ ఇస్ లొకేటెడ్ in chandrasekarapuram in prakasam district of andhra pradesh at chandrasekarapuram in prakasam district of andhra pradesh there is a 17th century architectural marvel established by two brothers in the nallamalla forest what is it we are playing efi's india environment quiz we are playing efi's india environment quiz and today's questions are each question in one indian language except for the sixth question which was in official associate language which was in english now we are playing the telugu question name the 17th century architectural marvel established by two brothers in the nallamalla forest this is located at chandrasekarapuram in prakasam district 17వ శతాబ్దానికి చెందిన ఇద్దరు సోదరులు నల్లమల్ల అడవిలో ఏర్పాటు చేసిన అద్భుత వాస్తు నిర్మాణాన్ని పేర్కొనండి ఇది ప్రకాశం జిల్లా చంద్రశేఖరపురంలో ఉంది పదిహేడవ శతాబ్దానికి చెందిన ఇద్దరు సోదరులు నల్లమల్ల అడవిలో ఏర్పాటు చేసిన అద్భుత వాస్తు నిర్మాణాన్ని పేర్కొనండి ఇది ప్రకాశం జిల్లా చంద్రశేఖరపురంలో ఉంది name the 17th century architectural marvel established by two brothers 
in the nallamala forest this is located in the chandrasekarapuram village of prakasam district how come no answers quickly i've even given the english translation give me the answers either on youtube or here on instagram we are asking you to name i'll give you the answer it is the horse shoe step well the horse shoe step well of andhra pradesh just search for it the horse shoe step well of andhra pradesh horse shoe step well of andhra pradesh yeah the horse shoe step well of andhra pradesh is the answer to question number 9 question number 9 we asked you today పదిహేడవ శతాబ్దానికి చెందిన ఇద్దరు సోదరులు నల్లమల్ల అడవిలో ఏర్పాటు చేసిన అద్భుత నిర్మాణాన్ని పేర్కొనండి ఇది ప్రకాశం జిల్లా చంద్రశేఖరపురంలో ఉంది ద హార్ షూ స్టెప్ వెల్ ద సెవెంటీన్ సెంచురీ ఆర్కిటెక్చురల్ మార్వల్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ బై టూ బ్రదర్స్ ఇన్ ద నల్లమల్ల ఫారెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ చంద్రశేఖరపురం ఇన్ ప్రకాశం డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఇన్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద హార్ షూ స్టెప్ వెల్ if you're all ready we will go to the next and the last question we will go to the last question and the last question for today which is going to be in hindi we're closing this with the hindi question but the uh, the but the location of this is in northeast because i couldn't find a translation for any northeastern language we're going with the hindi question but with a northeastern flavor to it dakshin asia ki sabse badi meethe pani ki jheel कौन सी है दक्षिण एशिया की सबसे बड़ी मीठे पानी की झील कौन सी है जो फूमदी के लिए भी जानी जाती है दक्षिण एशिया की सबसे बड़ी मीठे पानी की झील कौन सी है जो फूमदी के लिए भी जानी जाती है दक्षिण एशिया की सबसे बड़ी मीठे पानी की झील कौन सी है जो फूम दी के लिए भी जानी जाती है दक्षिण एशिया की सबसे बड़ी मीठे पानी की झील कौन सी है जो फूम दी के लिए भी जानी जाती है वे प्लेइंग इंडिया एनवायरनमेंट क्विज वे प्लेइंग दिस क्विज ऑन यूट्यूब एंड हियर ऑन इंस्टाग्राम मैम आई कैन स्पीक ओनली फॉर लैंग्वेजेस बट आई जस्ट पुटिंग अ ब्रेव एक्ट ऑफ ट्राइंग रीडिंग ऑल दिस दक्षिण एशिया की सबसे बड़ी मीठे पानी झील कौन सी है जो फूमदी के लिए भी जानी जाती है जयसमान झील द बैकल लेक लुक साउथ एशिया लार्जेस्ट फ्रेश वाटर लेक साउथ एशिया लार्जेस्ट फ्रेश वाटर लेक नोन ऑल्सो फॉर फूमदी जयसमंद वुलर बैकल ऑल इंटरेस्टिंग fresh water south asia also known for fumdi now give me an answer south asia's largest fresh water lake known also for fumdi south asia's largest fresh water lake also known for fumdi we are playing efi's india environment quiz and we are playing this quiz in 10 indian languages nine indian languages and one official associate language the first question we asked you was in bengali banglara rashtriya paki kaunti name bengal's state bird and it is the white breasted kingfisher then we went to gujarat all the way from east to west and the question we asked you gujarat nam sauti uncham shikhar kayumche the tallest peak of gujarat and it is the girnar peak at almost 1100 meters maharashtra cha rajya prani kaunta ahe we asked you maharashtra state animal and it is the indian giant squirrel and we asked you from the state of kerala ee nadiyude puradana naamamana churni aadhunika naamam endana and that is periyar we went to bihar and we asked you this question in maithili it almost sounded like hindi but it is maithili bihar ke rajya pakshi ka naam bataiye and it is house sparrow the only ape to be found in india was the associate official language english question and the answer was hula gibbon and the question in kannada was bandipuravu karnataka ta ati dodda rashtriya udyanavanavagiddu hechu sankheya 
ಹುಲಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಬಂದಿಪುರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಗರ್ಸ್ ದೋ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಗರ್ ಹೋಲೆ ಇಳವಯದಿಲ್ ವಡಳಿ ಎಂಟ್ರಾಳ ವಡಲಿ ಎಂಟ್ರ ಅಳೆಕೆಪಡುವ ಈ ಮರತೈ ವಳರ್ನ ಪಿನ್ ನಾಮ್ ಎನ್ನವೆಂಟ್ರ ಅಳೆಕಿಂದ್ರೋಮ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಯಂಗರ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ವಡಲಿ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗ್ರೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದ ಪನೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪಾಮ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ತೆಲುಗು ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಪದಿಹೇಳವ ಶತಾಬ್ದಾನಿಕ ಚೆಂದಿನ ಇದ್ರು ಸೋದರಲು ನಲ್ಲಮಲ ಅಡವಿಲೋ ಏರ್ಪಾಟು ಚೇಸಿನ ಅದ್ಭುತ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣ ಪೇರ್ಕೊನಂಡಿ ಇದು ಪ್ರಕಾಶಂ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರಪುರಂಲೋ ಉಂದಿ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ದ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಮಾರ್ವಲ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಲ್ಲಮಲ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರಪುರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಂ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ಆಂಧ್ರ ಪ್ರದೇಶ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಸ್ ಶೂ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಶಿವ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಬ್ and the hindi question representing northeast india and the whole islands and everything dakshin asia ki sabse badi meethe pani ki jheel kaun si hai jo fumdi ke liye bhi jani jati hai south asia's largest lake known for its fumdi it is the loktak lake it is the loktak lake outside of imphal from manipur what a beautiful country the country of the lion the tiger the elephant the rhino the asiatic wild ass the hula gibbon the jee's golden langur the dolphins the sharks the whales the leopards the dugongs the sea urchins the great indian bustard the snow leopard clouded leopard the deccan leopard the snakes the crabs the forests the trees what a beautiful country and what beautiful languages what joy and fun what joy and fun i had in preparing this question i also sincerely apologize if my pronunciation not if when my pronunciation went hey buyer just for the love for india and her environment and to make a sincere attempt to ensure that in the local language you are able to take the message of conservation across if you're good in marathi if you're good in gujarati if you're good in malayalam if you're good in kannada if you're good in telugu if you're good in bhojpuri maithili in in methi in any language that is spoken across yes come jointly do this quiz with us it's an india environment quiz and it cannot just be done in the official associate language it has to be done in our local languages and we are going to try this we're going to constantly keep trying this thank you for doing this thank you for playing thank you for encouraging and again i apologize when my pronunciation in those specific languages went haywire it's purely with all the love respect for these languages and india's environment that we did this join us tomorrow for a straightforward english india environment quiz simple 10 questions from across the country for every single one of you who joined this quiz today thank you for playing this we end this live stream here on youtube thank you good night jai hind we are also ending this here